you sort of published a eulogy about your father. What I took from it was he was really not in your life from about age three to age 16. Uh -huh. And you have a lot of resentment for that. Mm -hmm. And so you had limited contact with him throughout mm -hmm. your life. And then he got cancer and, and mm -hmm. you chose to spend a lot more time with him. Yeah. And at one point you drove around and visited all the houses either of you had lived in. Yes. The one that really got me that was, that that enabled me to kind of stop seeing him as this dad who disappointed me and more just like a guy who made a, the wrong choice we we went in front of the apartment that me and my brother and my mom moved into when we left his house and he goes uh we're looking at it and it's a dump and he goes uh i drove the couch over and i dropped it off and i i, I left and i got to that light and i sat on the side of the road right there and i cried for four hours I couldn't drive the car I couldn't drive the car because I knew I had just driven away from something that I was never gonna be able to fix and it was I blew it up it was over I drew I drove away and I shouldn't have and I couldn't go back and I couldn't drive home and I just sat there and I was like my fantasy was you fucking dropped the couch couch off went to the bar and got some ass like I <laughs> I didn't think that that happened and Oh man, I can only imagine what it's like driving away from your family for the first time. As a parent now, I, it's impossible to I imagine. can't even comprehend it. <clears throat> and in fact, for years I was really, really resentful at him for missing, for not being a dad to me. And about eight months into having our daughter, for the first time I was like, I don't feel bad for me at all. I feel terrible for him that he missed this. It's much more powerful on this side. It's much more of an experience to be a parent to a child than to be a child of a parent. He was sober too. He died 25 years sober. And, and uh, I'll, I'll meet people in recovery who have done terrible things. And I can so easily see past that and see how it's just they're humans and they're fallible. And I can forgive them for, I mean, it's not that it's my place to forgive them, but. I don't look at them as like the sum of their mistakes, but it's so hard not to look at your parents as the sum of their mistakes. And I just thought, I'm not, I'm not granting him any of the forgiveness I would a stranger who walks into a meeting, you know?